Antes de comenzar con el video, no olvides activar la campana, ya que si no lo haces, YouTube no te va a avisar de mis próximos videos. Una vez aclarado esto, comencemos con el video. Si te gustaría comenzar en el mundo del streaming como uno de tus jugadores profesionales favoritos, te presento Streamlabs OBS. Es un programa súper fácil de usar con el cual vas a poder comenzar en el mundo del streaming y quién sabe hasta dónde te pueda llevar eso. Estaré dejando el link en la descripción del video. Sin más que decir, comencemos. I was gonna say, taking a lot of damage there. I thought he had, I thought he actually had yeah, one. Yeah, I was like, okay, he's he tanking it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Regen spawns outside the pit, though. That's lovely. Oh. They should have this. They're getting pretty low. DDC will oh, scout it. They're always gonna oh, they're very low. Very low. Trying their best to escape. They're going to be chased. There's a swap from DDC bringing Baboka in. As oh, Roshan outplayed them all. And Fade, is he going to get the curse on Q? He yes, will. He is. Oh my goodness. I've never seen a bigger disaster around the Roche pit. The wave of terror. <laughs> Minusing their armor, Roche walks into all three, two of them. claps, bashes one, kills another, then they're running into the pit, <laughs> and he the bashes... The has been fantastic at certain stages of the game, but come those team fights, his presence is just so much more limited. He goes in with an impale finger combo, can't even kill off one hero. Blink. Echo. Air balls. Ah, uh, yes, he sure. killed that Same small man. He backtracked the Laguna. Of all things to backtrack, he backtracked the Laguna. Reso, <laughs> he's got the Chrono. Oh! <laughs> uh oh. Well, Tim's ain't living that. To upgrade that to Abyssal. Yeah. He needs to grab that. Oh! oh the no, double gamma dodge. That's one. That's all right. That's why he's got three of them. Yep. And your illusions will constantly just run into them and get stunned for like four seconds. Rezo walks up. Oh, the Chrono on the two cores. It is the big one. It's got the two of them. Armor has got the Eon just The Sprout does sort of help Raven out by the looks of it. They can't quite reach him. Raven will be fine. And so will Arm out. Neither hero is going down in that first corner. Rezo the just second misses. He doesn't get anyone. PPD tree. The what? Oh, the tree? Yeah. I don't know, man. Tree doesn't... Oh, arrow. Nice arrow. I don't think he has the damage. In fact, if he's not careful, Fada could get Orkin. He almost oh, killed CC and C. He had that. Why did he turn around? CC and C just don't get hit right now. That's a free kill, oh, and he gets hit. I Why felt did he like stop? Fada had it. Oh, no. Fada just had a right click once. He. I mean, that was definitely a death. Consumed. All yeah. right. Consumed a shard. Like, where yeah. does Gold go? <laughs> oh, Jump boy. Oh he, misses. oh, he misses. And then Tavar right through and disrupt this guard. You can go into the realm, but Tavar will go back. Snatch you in! Ramsey's will go on the run! BKB is up! So he's Radiance. Going. And he's not there, and he's still farming it. You're you're essentially, you're playing this game not with a lead, but like 5,000 gold down, because that's all dead net worth on your Phoenix right now. Yeah. That's just such a, an Straight. interesting play. I like the concept behind it, but the timing just doesn't suit. Oh, bottom lane! <laughs> they kill each other, Arkeezy and Miracle, but Arkeezy gets, gets the, the kill experience. First. And... Miracle gets the gold. 1,100 gold. Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot for both of them. But, I mean, isn't getting that level 25 talent on Spectre... I mean, we're still far away. But getting levels on him is good. And look at this. Arteezy. Oh, you know, you got 1k. <laughs> you know, something's a little wonky with this. We are going to see... Yeah. Stun with the DD. They're not heading over there. Is anyone going to look for VG? Oh, God. Maybe. Oh, God. Are they going to check it? Solo's holding the wave of terror. He knows. He's like, oh, God, I don't really want to use this yeah, right it's now. Yeah, he could give up his position. If they're, they're outside of the pit. They've got the hunt. Oh, he's done it though. Do they see it? 
They caught a glimpse of I it. I think they saw it. They did. They saw the wave of terror. Uh oh. Solo should have held onto it because now in goes Lanham. Rochelle will get the kill on Solo, but now Lanham's in position to finish it off himself. Ramses is there on the side, maybe seeing if he can go for some sort of a steely heads. And he does have Roger going in with the combo. Can VP take this fight, Roger? He gets hit by the arrow. The boat coming through. It's going to keep VG all safe and take the fight for VG Gaming as they get the kills. They get Roshan and they get Aegis. W doesn't hit CYD though. The Chain Frost comes in, bounces over to the Eidolon, so that's unfortunate. And this freezing field still going out is doing some damage to GGG, but it's just not enough to really threaten Serenity. As you can see, GGG just wants to go in. He's going to be able to kill Duster. Weeha's TPing in. They still have the Chronosphere, not letting Shin Q get it off. Oh, he misses! Malefis stalled it up enough, and he now misses. He's going to be time marked in, controlled by Weeha. Can they actually kill Shin Q? It would be so important, but he does manage to get the walk away. The support Ursa level one Roche. What a time to be alive. That's uh, it's a nice matter right now. S Triple C has that aggressive ward on the high ground, hits mid one again. 11 to 3 to the 6 and 2. This is what you expect. So they're going to go for a little bit of a uh, rotation here with this invis room. See, think it's oh, that's a that's a something. Oh no, puppy! Oh no! And he's going to pay the price as well. The punches, the kill, they are shook. All right, uh, you gotta gotta reset, man. You gotta mentally fix yourself after gotta that. Breathe. G -g -g. How do they? A full Aeon disc now on S Triple C, and they're just they're constantly looking to just go for these dive plays. There is the blink on the shaker. I mean, that's it's... never gonna work. I mean, I'm. <laughs> Did he go for him? He just went for him. I mean, he's gonna get past. He's never gonna kill us. Uh, so he really, like, he actually. Hmm. Oh my goodness. They will get a range track, Envy. Trying to continue forward. They're trying to block off the team with the fishing. Universe goes in with a BKB black hole on to the illusion. He doesn't get it at all. As he has got a retreat now. Miracles there, ready to. Lead in there's the jump in from GH with the slam. That's gonna be universe on the relocate. Ah, Ben, he's pretty tanky. Oh, the creep got shackled, and they don't. TNC, Cuckoo comes in, does manage to get a really good overglow. A lot of damage coming in from behind. Raven, oh no, Moogie completely whisked the Chronosphere. And as a result, they don't get that insta stun. The Fisher, though, does come out now with a Wukong's command. They want to try and fight this one instantly, bursting Martu, and you get big, big streak of his set now. Could be in some trouble because of this rupture, but he's just going to use the decrep. Maxed out decrep. Echo slam from Jerex doesn't really connect all too well. He does end up getting stunned Good underneath the tower with a sun strike. No escape for him. Just one casualty Back. per side. Oh, they see him. Oh, off the bash, can they chain stun? They can. He cancels ulti though. Oh, they didn't get the blink echo in time. He got the BKB. Is he going to go for it? He, he's channeling it. Yep. Goes in with the Wukong's command, perhaps hoping there's no BKB on Mardu. He's got, he's trying to secure the Rojan. He's getting fast though, Mardu getting low. He can't get Rojan. He doesn't get it low enough. Oh no, OG. They're going to secure Rojan themselves. Topson picks up the Aegis. There's Chief on the ground as well. And OG have bested Liquid at this Rojan fight at least. On the bright side. And disruption will fly out. The range sun as well. Here comes a firestorm. Arrow flying in or hitting. Oh, double degrees. sun on the back line here, though. Everyone's still relatively healthy. And here comes the Get Cooper. me out. Get me out. Get me out fast. Can it kill? They get killed? No. Oh, 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 he's stuck. Oh. oh, he pops a BKB. That's a 10 second BKB, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, at least he didn't die. At least he didn't die. He's fine. That's a 10 second charge. Oh, my God. It's fine. It's not beaten. He's not done. He's TPing in, going on DP. He can't really deal with the eggs immediately. And they're kind of Ignoring it, they found bigger fish. It's Rezo, the Dragon Knight. He's almost being brought down, not quite. Ace is chasing after him with the Skeleton Walk, but back in the main fight, it's Nature's Prophet burnt to a crisp as Fantas. All he can do is deny himself with a miscoil and Secret in full retreat off of a sneaking buyback. It feels like Storm have just secured this team fight, taken a tier one, and stopped Roche from going down. I actually can't believe they won that fight. That was, that was crazy to me. If it wasn't for the, the fact that they were uh, approaching up high ground, the Dra no one does he have the cooldowns? This Weaver shows up. He is so dead. Yeah, I think he has an inkling that something no, is going no. on. This ward, it might. Oh god, no one! He's coming for him. Ava, it's not quite there. Oh jeez. Hi, Dave. Use the ward. No, he's on the ward. He walked back into it. Oh, Ace has found the X torn. Oh, they missed the combo a little oh bit off god, the board. They missed a whole lot of stuff right there. Even the dust didn't it. All right, that is the most value ward that's ever been placed in the woods, but it doesn't pay off that time. Um, oh, was he the first to TP2? No, he's the second, right? 
He teleported like Shrine or something, then came in for the Chrono, something like that. It was yeah. just really good ulti. Oh, we got that one. All right, Earthshaker on the mid lane, looking like he's still gonna die. Just a simple zoning Chrono. Oh, KP, well, KP getting the kill. Well played. The yet. Still deciding as he gets swapped back in. Another round. He's taking a lot of damage. Does still have the Aegis available? No, he doesn't. But he has a cheese, and he's gonna try and switch it in now. Seeing if he can live through this. Actually, diving the fountain at this point for Moon. He wants to kill this guy off. Doesn't give a dang about anything. But oh, he's caught in here, and they can't get him out. They can't keep him alive. He's dead. Universe has the refresher shard. He does have a secondary one, but. He's saving um, his buddy for the one with the buyback from Tinker comes now as well. They're trying to force down one of these heroes at the very least, and they are going to kill off Eternal Envy. In the meantime, Huskar yes. pops his BKB, jumps in for this. The play's all the way to Fountain yet again, but he can't do this. Can they kill him off? He's doozing. He's jumping away with the Mantle. He just can't figure out which one's real. They kill off the Huskar. Moon, you madman. Oh, this is the most times I've seen someone die to the Fountain in a single game, that's for sure. Uh, usually once is enough. Most people There's no it. vision in the area. Creeping up on Envy. Oh, he pops the BKB immediately, and now it's time to run. But if they can bait out and wait out this BKB, you can potentially oh, fight afterwards. Silver Edge, possibly here, onto Abed. They disarm him, he's jumping forward. You can't take that one off. He's still stuck there doing absolutely nothing. They're able to force the Tinker away. He's living, but DJ able to find the Tinker. Another Decrep saving their buddy. He's hexed, but he's living everything for Moon. Can they keep him alive? The Overgrowth as well, he's manting it away, trying to survive. Moon, Decrept again, still able to live. Manta's a Manta, he's living. What are you doing to me, baby? Fnatic, you can't finish this man off. Unbelievable. This Manta is paying off so well. Instead of the Lotus Orb here for the, the uh, disarm. Some added utility here. The extra stats. I double did it. They go to Crystal Maiden. Storm immediately counter initiates with RTZ flinging as well, but it's a perfect shackle on two. Oh, says well, Storm. They melt, but Storm does have an Aegis. He's going to come back for a second life here. So EG still looking good here. Sumel on his second life goes balling in, catches out the Oracle as well as Topson's Ark Warden on the backside here. Topson, he's just going to try to TP his hero out of it. But he's TP. He TP to the tier one. What's he thinking? He's being pinged here. Crit going to give him the tip. It's EG's turn to turn it around. They hadn't been tipped. All game, but they'll tip that one, that's for sure. Oh, that's a beautiful oh. mistake. He must have clicked the ground, maybe uses quick cast. Like OG doesn't have the damage, they don't have a typical carry. Executing is very difficult with the heroes they have, and against a good team, they're gonna avoid that. Yep, and not done. EG charging in. Anna gonna add one more to his tally. That's number 10. And Tiny, not in much better shape, he goes down and the voice line's coming out. I imagine OG know this one has a bit over and just trying to cheer each other up. I was the one who's like leaning ahead here. Okay. It's kind of crazy. They're, they're baiting it out. 11 ready up on the high ground. They have vision here. Complete. And oh, he misses. Vision. He missed it. And now the global comes after the fact. They find the stun as well. Onto the Bane in the woods. And more damage coming out on Avicii as Lanham just tries to get the heck out of here. Sam He's Mage just doing so much right click. Great swap from Cuckoo as well. They have isolated all three cores. Looks like on the back line, they even killed the uh, the Bane. Ramses looks like he's gonna have to fight his way out of here. Samage dropping very low and he will die to this right click. Buybacks coming out galore is gonna be Samage. Roger being focused down by PL. Nice juking by Roger, still keeping himself alive. He will finally die and now it's gonna be a chases for Ramses. Ramses is super fast thanks to the flutter. The in a tree line here or hope that EG thinks he's just gonna TP out because this is a long time. They're giving him information mid though. They're showing all their heroes on that mid wave. So. And he's coming in for concoction. He's going after Arteezy and Arte oh! oh wait, what? He missed the target. He didn't get the uh, the toss off. Arteezy went into the trees. And now with the TP up from Crit, they're able to capitalize. Concoction's burning again, but he does not have time to get it off. Permanently stunned. Moon is getting clobbered right now in this mid lane. Almost just dies. Jabs yeah. is on his way, friend. Don't worry. I mean, I don't know what Jabs does to... Yeah, it's, he doesn't really do anything to help this out. Mushi taking a lot of damage. Didn't go for the hard stopper, and I was trying to take advantage of that. Oh, Jabs! Not like this! Oh, no. <laughs> Dude, I saw that happen in slow-mo. I knew he was 100% dead. He flew over and, and landed into Some the real Icarus. <laughs> and their advantage, absolutely worth it for a single pick -off. The high ground ward that gets immediately removed, and all Mushi can do is split push the mid team on tower, trying to get what it's going. He had the Reaper completely gained the game. I just want to be the best you want, I know. Better than the rest, just watch me grow.
Put me to the test and watch me go. This is my quest, I'ma make it known. They call me obsessive, oh I know. Call me selective with my 